Hey friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to configure DHCP through the relay server. So, I have removed the DHCP server from the router here. And suppose if I try to, you know, assign the dynamic IP address to my s all the host, you will see it will not be able to get the IP address it's only getting the the link local IP addresses so our main DHCP server is here on this IP 172.168.1.1 so I've configured the DHCP here as a part of the available services I've made it on the pool name it server pool so I have change the default gateway which happens to be this interface on the router 0 and I have provided the start IP address and the maximum number of users 254 as the subnet mask allows so I've con changed this configuration now I have to tell this router to forward any DHCP uh, request to this DHCP server so what I will do I will configure it through the terminal now the interface which we is going to listen for the DHCP request is gigabit 00 I have to just add one command called IP helper address 10 sorry 172.168.1.1 and if I do an exit and let's see for the DHCP request suppose this is requesting for the DHCP it's a broadcast it will go to all the uh, ports connected to this switch it one packet goes to the router and it is forwarded to the server here if you can see here and the server is our DHCP server so if you check here so this is a DHCP frame server UDP port number 68 and uh, this is the source port and the destination port is 67 and you can see the IP is updated so the IP is 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 that is the router IP and the destination IP is this so our router is working as a relay here and if you will see here our PC should have the IP address assigned yes and it is assigned 10.10.10.5 .10 and same is the case with the other uh, users the IP address is uh, already assigned So in this way you can uh, configure DHCP through a relay server and it's very easy to do so. Now to verify the DHCP I will just go to let me just make it a bit. So I will show IP DHCP binding. So you can see there is no DHCP binding shown here because this is not a DHCP server. Now let's check the DHCP relay and information trusted sources. Okay, so all interfaces are trusted source of relay agent information option because we have to make uh, all the you can say interfaces if trusted or not so when you are going to configure security you will only assign that interface which is connected to the DHCP server as the trusted interface rest all you have to you know uh, exclude from this group so this is how you can uh, check the DHCP uh, information so you can also see DHCP lease if your uh, router works as a DHCP server. So let me do one thing. I will reconfigure this uh, in the next video as a DHCP server and we will see how to troubleshoot the DHCP configuration with various commands. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.